Hi, I'm Frank with HPI, and today we're going to show you how to set up your Bullet Flux truck. So when you first get your Bullet Flux, whether it's the Bullet ST Flux or the Bullet MT Flux, they both have the same brushless system in it. Before you run it for the first time, you just need to make sure that the brushless system is set up properly. You only have to do it once, and you don't have to do it every time you go out. First things first, let's make sure the truck's turned off. The transmitter's turned on, and the throttle trim is centered. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is remove the pinion from the motor shaft. The reason for this is as you're setting up the speedo, the motor's going to want to turn. And the flux systems, whether it's the flux shot, the flux warp, or the flux torque, they're all very, very powerful systems. So you don't want your car or truck to be zooming off everywhere. So at the moment, it's off, so there's no power going to the motor. Now the way that you get to the pinion is you just have to make sure that you turn the, turn the spur gear so that you can access the, the grub screw through this groove in the motor mount, as you can see. And then just loosen it, and then gently pull off the pinion. Make sure you put it somewhere safe. You don't want to lose it. Okay, so setting up the speedo is really simple. Just make sure your transmitter is turned on. And then what we're going to do is hold the setup button down and turn the speedo on with the switch. And then just watch the flashes on the side. As soon as it starts flashing, just let go of the speedo button. So there we are. So now we just let go. So the first thing we're going to set is the neutral setting. All you have to do is just don't touch anything on the radio and then just press the button once and you have one green flash. And then on the, on the radio, just pull the trigger all the way back to set the full throttle and press the setup button again. You get two flashes. And then to set the uh, full brake setting, press away on the trigger and then press the setup button once more. You get three green flashes. And to save all of your settings and adjustments to the flux reload, all you have to do is turn the speedo off and then on again and it's all set up. Okay, so to set up the auto lipo cutoff mode for your battery. If you're running nickel metal hydride batteries, you're fine and good to go. Just get out and have fun. However, if you're running lipo batteries for the extra power that you get from them, you must set the auto lipo cutoff mode. Uh, it's very simple, just takes a couple of minutes, and we'll just show you how to do that right now. So the first thing to do is make sure that your speedo is turned off, turn on your radio, and what we're going to do, I'll just talk you through it very quickly. Um, you're going to hold the button down as we turn on the speedo. You're going to see a series of red flashes, and then a series of green flashes. Let's just explain how you navigate the flux reload. First of all, there's the mode settings, which are represented by the green LED flashes. And then within each mode setting, there's the value, which is represented by the red LED flashes. So for now, uh, all you have to do is count the green flashes, and that'll put you in the mode that you want to adjust. So right now, we're just going to show you how to do the auto lipo cutoff mode, and then we'll show you how to do another one. So again, I'm going to hold down the button and turn on the speedo. It'll be a bunch of red flashes and then green flashes. And you count the green flashes between pauses. So there's one and a pause, two and a pause, three, and then you let go. So now it's very simple to see. The red flash tells you it just beeps once and then there's a pause. So that tells you you're in mode value one, which at the moment is no protection for your battery. So you don't want that. It's fine for nickel metal hydride, but not so good for LiPo batteries. So you're in mode value one. And if you just look across the chart, you want to be in four for three volts per cell. So you don't have to know the numbers, just, uh, just know that you want to be in four. So 
At the moment we're in mode 1, so you're just going to press it three more times to go into 4. If you press the button once more, you're going to be in mode value 2, and you see that the red flashes twice and you hear two beeps. Press it again, you're in value 3. There's three flashes. And press it again, you're in 4. And that's it. Then all you have to do to set it in the Speedo's memory is to turn off the Speedo and then the next time you turn it on, it'll be in auto lipo mode 4 uh, for 3 volts per cell. And that's it. Pretty simple. Alright, so now to just to demonstrate how to change one of the other modes of the Speedo. It's uh, very simple. We're just going to show you how to change the punch mode of the Speedo. The punch mode basically sets how powerful the acceleration is when you first start off with the truck. Again, speedo off. I'm going to turn the radio on. Um, now, just like before, we're going to count the green flashes and we want to count up to four. Once again, just press and hold, then switch on the speedo, wait for these red flashes to go and count uh, for mode four. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Now you can hear and see that there's a really long beep and then two beeps. The really long beep basically counts as five. And then two short beeps counts, that's obviously one and two, so it's seven. You're in mode value seven at the moment. The long beep make, basically just makes it easier to count. So that's five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, okay? So as we hit the button, we're gonna be counting up. So the next time we press the button, we'll be in eight. So you hear the long beep and three short beeps. So that's eight, press it again, we get nine. So there's four short beeps there. And then once we press it again, nine is as high as you can go. So if you press it again, you'll be in mode value one. And then we want to go to mode value four. There's two, there's three, and there's four. So now you're in start mode punch four. Just an example of what that does is basically uh, the default mode is a very aggressive setting. You can set it even more aggressive so that 100% of the power goes to the tires. Uh, when you pull back on the throttle. Uh, this particular setting will make it start off a little bit softer. So if you're running on, say, gravel or loose dirt, uh, you actually start off quicker if you just ease into the throttle a bit. So that's why we're going to go into four. So um, it's just a quick explanation. And then to set it again, just turn the speedo off. And then the next time you turn it on, it'll be in punch mode four. Okay, so what if you're changing around all your mode settings and counting beeps and flashes and everything, and you get completely lost and you kind of forget where you're at in the mode setup? It's not a problem, it happens to the best of us, uh, but it's very easy to set the Speedo back to its factory default settings, which if you look in your manual are noted by the dark blocks in the mode value chart. The factory reset, very easy to do. All you have to do is, again, make sure your, speedos, your radio is turned on, Turn on your speedo, don't touch any buttons yet. And then look on the side and press and hold the setup button for a few seconds until you see the green and red lights flash just like they are right there. And then you let go and see it's still flashing, then you turn it off, turn the speedo back on and you're back to the factory default settings. All right, now with the Speedo all set up, we're just gonna put the pinion back on and then you'll be ready to go. So, you have your 1.5 mil wrench handy. And just tighten it on, check the gear mesh real quick. And then put the body on and you're ready to go. So if you want to speed things up and tune your speedo like a pro, 
check out this, the Flux Reload Professional USB Program Box. For quicker, more convenient programming on the go, and you can see the modes and values right on the display. All you have to do is plug in your Speedo, punch a few buttons, and you'll be ready to rock.